Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, Gilbert Torino Burns ready to go here early in this round. I don't have to tell most of you that his jiu-jitsu is world-class, but that says nothing of his striking that has improved leaps and bounds under the tutelage of Henry Hoof. And Gilbert Burns believes in this matchup and many others in this welterweight division, if he just needs to kickbox with no takedowns, so be it. He's ready to knock your head off. Lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 
All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Nice. Well, he's got his back now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. And another one. Another strike from the top. Land for it. Burns getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Usman's back in full mount. These are big shots, and they're not glancing low. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Good work from the top here by Kamara Usman. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, right into Mount. In the half guard. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh. Round two is next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice, and it works out for him. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Effective use of the jab there by Burns. Misses with the right hand. That is a heavy right hand from Carlos, but I'm not sure how many more his opponent can take. He's so close to coming to the jaw. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission big. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Burns. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Oh, nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Man, as he 
landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, side control now, DC. Burns now looking for a Darce choke. That Darce choke is tight. It looks like the Darce choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hips, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't roll to his back. Holding the position now. He's smart. He knows not to lose his position. Oh, that has got to be it. Oh, he got out. He got out. He defended. John, I thought it was over. I thought it was done. It was so tight. It was deep. They were hip to hip. I thought the fight was done. Great job and awareness by this young man to defend that dark shirt. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Burns is looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Just gotta be careful here. Job changing the position and getting that reversal. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Oh, trying to pass here, but the Kembe Matumbo style Blocked. gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Burns in half guard now. Oh, right in the mount. Nice transition. Guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Takedown defense holds up. Tags him with that uppercut. Swing and a big miss by Usman. Back to the single. Burns gets another takedown. The question now, what will he do with it? Let him step over to the crucifix. Burns back inside control here. Now he's going full mount. What submission is going to be? Oh, I think he's going for an arm triangle. He needs to push the left arm across and secure it with his head. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Final seconds of round three. Burns is right back to the full mount. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Woo. Nice work. Your cardio is sick. 
All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within... Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, nice guillotine there. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. That's Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Well, sometimes our staff guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. That is tight. Oh, my goodness, he got out again. Wow. That is fantastic submission defense. Relentless pressure from the top by Kamaru. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground ball. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. Drops down inside the net. He's isolated the arm. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. There's the tower. Oh, my goodness. The winner by submission. <laughs> wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time. There. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Gilbert Durinho.